going to show you my little how I got the bearing going. It's a uh, flat bearing. All around it is oil and grease. So, holy crap, I don't want to fall in there. So, it, it's a, it's a, um, funnel shape bearing and it works I just have to get a better lid system that's all this will blow definitely will blow I don't know when soon I think on this one I'm using Presto a little bit out of whack but uh, terrible at centering so anyway um, and uh, it puts out AC and a simple uh, rectifier at the other end and make it DC expensive though mm, maybe not too expensive but it cost money it's supposed to give us 12 at 80 RPM, 12 volts. So here's what we got. This one will be called V18 because we have 18 veins, 18 of them, 2 by 4, and in the middle there. Bicycle axle, a few washers, and you've seen the top. The same concept. I'm not going to make an instructable on this one, but the same idea. And on the bottom, exactly the same. Just maybe the the mount hole is a little bigger for this side. It's five eight versus. The top is uh, half an inch axle, and my favorite, the middle, <laughs> my bulgy middle. Nobody likes it, but it makes things work for me. And I'm gonna modify this one where that. Axles, I want to put weight down so when it's in the center, it's pretty much sitting idle there. There's weight, but hopefully, the bearing up there will do the job. But when it spins, four weights on all directions, four weights will spread out. It'll give us more uh, centrifugal force energy there. Anyway, one day I'll figure it out. I'll show you what I mean. So when it starts, we don't need it. It hardly weighs anything, but when it goes, it just adds to that. It just wants to go. Go! This is my favorite one, the uh, V3. Again, I decided to put the rim on the inside, then the outside. Believe me, it did make a difference. I don't know. Ones. Let's look at it from this way.
So my uh, V18, which is uh, made from um, four inch cut in half and not two thirds. It uh, it works. It packs a more punch, definitely, more blade area, more uh, power, I guess. These are the bearings that I'm using. Okay. It's, a, it's a funnel shape, so it's thin on this side, thick on that side. So I had it sitting like that like that and and it's pushing downwards on it and it spins because it doesn't touch it you know so it spins and I had that tub full of grease hopefully I'll cover it good so it just uh, and these are really good ones expensive but I got used ones Anyway, that's my trick for the... Um, I tried the magnets, by the way, they do work, but I need more magnets or bigger ones, and they're freaking expensive. So this is an alternative for us that have a little bit of money to play with. Alright, I hope I cleared some of this the way... Hmm. Should have used this one, little one. Feels better. Anyway, doesn't matter. This is the rectifier coming. I don't know how many voltage now? Three. Okay. I mean, it's just an extension cord. It's all the way to our buddy over there. It's not spinning fast, and it's giving me three, which is good. It's doing what it's meant to do. Too much resistance on the <laughs> on this. Anyway, it's all for testing right now. So the three leads, you know, one, two, three, and positive, negative, uh, uh, negative, and positive. Yes, I think so. Doesn't matter. I figured that one out. Here's the wind gauge, 7.4, so that's 7.4 kilometers per hour there. Seven point four kilometers per hour. Let's see if it changes. Seven point four. Change already. Eight. 